If you're not familiar with the Elliott Brown line of watches, I suggest doing a search here on the channel or go over to watchreport.com and doing a search there and you will find a, a good amount of the models that we have reviewed from them over the years. Elliott Brown watches are, um, you know, no nonsense, really hard use, but still, you know, beautiful, nice aesthetic style of watch. They are an all round watch. They're not necessarily a dive watch. They're not necessarily a sport watch, a boating watch. They're kind of all those things together. Now this newest one here, the Elliott Brown Canford, it is a newer version of the Canford. Uh, this is the latest variation and specifically these are going to come with the Sunray dials and these new webbing straps. Now there's going to be some more variations of these. If you go ahead and you take a look at the Elliott Brown website, of course I'll have that link down below, you'll know that there are a lot of variations of these and I think the original one that I reviewed Oh, I want to say it's almost six years ago now. Um, had a textured dial. It was in the stainless steel configuration. This one's a little cheaper and a little different as well. Now, you will see a rubber strap. Um, it is a fitted end rubber strap. And uh, I had them send that along to me. That does not come with this. But if you didn't want this webbing strap, which we'll talk a little bit more in depth here, um, you could choose uh, any one of the solid um, natural rubber fitted straps and they uh, come in a ton of colors and options as well. So if you're not familiar with these watches, yes, this is a quartz. It is a Swiss made five jewel Ronda 715 quartz. Um, it is a five year battery life, of course, with an end of life indication. And one of the things that makes these specials, I have always compared these Elliott Brown watches to the Enox line of watches. They are, you know, it has steel and elastomer damped shock absorbing movement holder. It's water resistant to ISO 2281 and individually tested to 200 meters. It is shock resistant to ISO 1413. It is, of course, 316 case. You have the domed and reflective um, sapphire crystal, triple sealed, six millimeter knurled crowns. I can go on and on and on. So these are tough hard use watches. And if you go over to their website, if you search online, you could see real world use of guys that have done everything from, you know, your normal outdoor activities to boating, to fishing, to swimming, to hunting, to, you know, diving and whatever else. And, uh, you know, use these watches while doing it. Uh, Elliot Brown actually has a very good following. They make a really just good, tough watch. So I'm not going to get into the, the uh, I guess, you know, the pros and cons of this watch. I have gone over this watch many times um, and some of the other Elliott Brown models over the years. Um, this do, it does have that inner bezel. This does have a, it is not a screw down crown. They are very nicely knurled crowns, but it is not a screw down crown. It looks like when you give it a quick glance, that that date wheel matches the dial color. It does not, it's black, but uh, on this particular uh, Sunray Blue Model 1, it does look like it matches, which is um, a nice touch. It, you know, for the most part, you think it does. But what I want to concentrate here on is that webbing material, that webbing strap. So Elliot Brown sent along um, a, a decent amount of, uh, I want to say a decent amount of specification, excuse me, about this webbing strap. And I want to say first all, and I don't want to call this a NATO strap, it's not really a NATO strap, it's not, you know, but um, I'm not a fan of any kind of these material straps, these nylon straps, any kind of NATO strap or anything like that. They've just never been for me personally. Um, but Elliot Brown is very proud of this strap and I know a lot of guys like these style of straps. Um, so I am going to read what they sent over to me because I, and, and any more information you can definitely find on their website as well. And if you like this style of strap, maybe this will be something that will interest you. The webbing is woven specifically for Elliot Brown by a wonderful family run business. 
Balmer Bond in Ashburn, Derbyshire, UK, where they recommissioned a Victorian shuttle loom called Dolly. She has her own name. Fed her with small batch dyed textured yarn, treated with a lifetime antibacterial wash, and set about creating a beautifully technical slice of fabric. The patented buckle plucked from Alex's mechanical brain is an engineering gem and typical of Elliot Brown's inventive detail. Designed to hold the webbing securely in a hinged clamp and ladder lock, the patented buckle is a power of strength, ultra low profile, and a cinch, a cinch to use. It's the perfect marriage of crafted, durable webbing and minimalist buckle whose end result is one of ultimate performance. Now, mind you, I am reading promotional copy here, but I'm trying to give you as much information on this strap and buckle as possible. So, uh, if you just want the strap, you're looking about 40 pounds. Um, the webbing strap available in 10 colors, the buckle available in three finishes, bronze, gunmetal, or vapor blasted steel. It weighs 12 grams altogether, and is 22 millimeter wide, and it is available in two wrist sizes, 225 millimeters or 255 millimeters long. So as I said, if you're not a fan like me of this style of strap, you know, there's a lot that goes into the strap. It's like I said, it's anti, um, bacterial it's uh you know it's a strong strap and i have to say as far as this strap works um i have a little trouble putting it on in real time on the video here but as far as this strap works it works a lot nicer than any of the other nylon style straps and uh what's the very popular straps out there erica straps and all that kind of stuff but again, if you don't, if you like this watch, but you don't want that strap, you can check out their rubber straps. I believe they have leather straps available as well. Um, in the end, uh, the amount of videos that I have done on Elliot Brown and their watches throughout the years, I'm a big fan of them. Now, this is this is Quartz. They do have automatic watches, of course. You can go take a look at their website. I've covered a few of them here as well. I like the aesthetic of Elliot Brown watches. I like the, the ruggedness, the hard use, um, but they still go ahead and create a really nice watch. And one other thing I wanted to point out as we're getting towards the end of the video here, um, the original Canfords have uh, mineral crystal. So these are upgraded now with the sapphire crystal on top of, you know, uh, the Sunray dial, these PVD cases, and of course, these new webbing straps. So if you like this video, you know what to do. You give it a thumbs up. You can leave a comment down below. If this is your first time here and you're not subscribed, I hope you go ahead and do so. Hit that notification bell twice. You'll never miss uh, any of our content. And uh, all the links, of course, will be down below. And if you want to watch some more of our videos, go ahead and click over here. Maybe click over here at the end of the video. You'll see a couple of suggestions from me of some of our recent videos. It's been Don Evans for LiveReport.com. This is the new, a new look at the new Elliot Brown Canford and their new webbing strap. Hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you on the next one.